Good morning. I'm Sergeant Tony Hayes, your media relations officer for the St. John Police Force, and this is your media report for Tuesday, April 22nd, 2014. During the last four-day period, our officers responded to 340 calls for service, and I have four incidents to report. On April 18th, 2014, police met with a member of the SPCA who were responding to a report that a male had killed a cat. A witness stated that a 21-year-old male had punched the cat in the head approximately four times. The cat was seized by the SBCA and taken to a vet for treatment. X-rays disclosed that the cat had a broken jaw and trauma to the head. The SBCA is completing its file, which will then be turned over to the St. John Police Force. On April 19, 2014, police responded to a call regarding a domestic assault. After speaking to the victim, a 33-year-old male was placed under arrest and held in a de detention facility. He was released the following day with documents requiring his attendance in court at a future date to answer the charges of uttering threats and assault. On April 20th, 2014, officers responded to a call from a witness who stated that he was following a vehicle that was driving all over the road in the city of South Bend. The vehicle was located a short time later and stopped by a member of the traffic unit. As a result, a 37-year-old male was placed under arrest and subsequently failed the breathalyzer. He has since been released on conditions which include a mandatory three-month driver's license suspension and has been issued a future provincial court date to answer the approved criminal charges. On April 20th, 2014, police responded to a call regarding a male walking across the Harbor Bridge towards the west side. An officer located the 24-year-old male on the bridge and offered to transport him across the bridge out of the way of traffic. During that short ride, it was learned that the male was in violation of his conditions, which were an undertaking issued by a judge. The male was then taken to a detention facility and lodged in cells where he was to appear before a judge in the morning. On April 21, 2014, police responded to a call regarding a theft in progress at a retail location on the west side. Officers were given a description of a male and a female exiting the store and entering a white Jeep Compass that was being operated by an older male. The vehicle was located as it was exiting the parking lot and stopped. As a result, a 21-year-old male, an 18-year-old female, and a 59-year-old male were arrested and issued court documents requiring their attendance in court at a future date. This concludes my media report for Tuesday, April 22, 2014. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you tomorrow.